So this is a simple uh, mask model, a low poly mask model that I've rendered as a wireframe. Um, and it's tracking my face. Um, again, the frame rate's really low because of uh, siphon server issues and also because I'm trying to share a camera between more than one program at once. Um, but anyway, this demonstrates how we could use a more abstract shape uh, that's not necessarily glued to the skin or trying to look realistic but tracks the face around so that it's obviously some kind of computer analysis of the shape of the person. So this is just demonstrating the capability of that. You can see it gets bigger as I get closer to the screen and smaller as I back away and tracks me pretty well. Um, so this is how well it actually tracks when I'm using the same camera for tracking as displaying the visuals. Uh, that tracks very well. Some of the tracking errors that we had before on the Luma key stuff was affected by there being two different cameras, one for infrared and one for visual spectrum that don't see the exact same image. When we see the both, um, when both programs see the same image, it tracks very well. So if we do a two camera rig, uh, I would want to build a beam splitter so that two cameras can see the exact same image at the same angle. And it tracks really nicely then.